here, the Frugal Crafter. I thought I might share just a couple little advanced tricks and tips with you um, after you're done your watercolor painting. So of course I love to add my splatters. But another thing I wanted to go over a little bit more in case you didn't quite get it on the other video was side loading. So what I have is I've, I've got a clean brush here. I've squeezed out the extra water and I'm going to pick up some color on just the edge of the brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of green too. So I've got color on one edge of the brush and not on the other. And this is a great way to do shadows. Um, and what you do is like you paint over something and you keep that edge right to the edge of your um, object you're painting and then you get a nice um, soft shadow. So I did that with some of the leaves over here. I didn't know if you get a chance to really see it. Uh, uh, some of the petals I mean. Um, I'll do it on one of the petals there just so you get a chance to see it. So I've got a clean brush and blot it off or squeeze out the water, whichever you prefer. I'm going to grab some of that mauve in the corner of my brush and then um, let's just add a little shadow here. Just go right up against a leaf that you want to, or a petal that you want to shadow and just pull it across and you end up with a, just a really subtle little shadow there. Okay, I, saw, I thought it would also be kind of cool to throw a, a beetle bug on the, um, on the flower. I know it's not the best thing for the flower, but I thought it would be kind of, it'd be kind of cute. So what I'm going to do is just with my pencil here, sketch an oval. These are the ink tents, so I'm just going to kind of sketch this little um, beetle in here with that. Not, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to use a um, just a small flat or whatever you have. It doesn't really matter. Something small with short bristles. I'm just going to um, color it in there. And then I'm going to do a little special effects here by using my metallic watercolors. If you have them. If not, use regular watercolors. But I thought it'd be kind of just kind of fun. And I'm going to use some of this uh, metallic green. And I'm going to just paint right on the wet flower there with that. I'm going to add some of this metallic um, copper because when you look at those Japanese beetles, they do have this kind of like iridescent. You know what? I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can really see that. Woo! There we go. Okay. So, um, whoops. Sorry about that. Camera shake. I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, metallic bronze auburn color in there. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of metallic blue as well. So it's just kind of a little fun effect. These little um, metallic paint sets are inexpensive. They're about, oh, six or eight bucks. Um, maybe this, this purple might be a little bit more vivid. You know, they don't cost a lot, but they do, uh, they can add quite a bit of fun and whimsy to a project. I should have sprayed them first, though, to make them work a little bit better. And then I think I will go back in with my pencil and uh, just kind of get the definition a little bit better here. It's going to kind of scribe the paper, but also deposit some more um, paint for me. Then we can really get that beetle drawn in there. And you give him a little legs. So you don't have to do too much. Um, you just need to hint that he's there. You see little legs there, just little nubbins so that you can see that, um, that it's a bug on there. And I think maybe I'll just grab a little bit of my ultramarine blue. It's a little bit darker right off my palette and just kind of get a little bit of uh, contrast there on the back side of the fla of the uh, bug there just to make him stand out a little bit more. And so there you go. Just a little bit of an advanced technique for you. We'll zoom back out so you can see him on the flower um because you know sometimes you want to fuss with your painting a little bit more when the tutorial's done i know i like to do that like i might go in there and say gee you know what i wish those uh, petals had a little bit more um a little more definition so i can go in there even just with a, any brush and um some ultramarine blue mixed with my sap green add some shadows help push some of the petals back help you know, bring some leaves forward, whatever I, you know, feel like a picture needs. So don't be afraid to play with the painting a little bit more after we're done our tutorials. And, um, you know, I like to add my big splashy um, paint spatters. That's not for everybody, um, but something I think is really fun on the quick sketches because I don't have much to lose. I've only spent, you know, 15 minutes on this. I don't have to worry about it so much. So, you know, go ahead, play with your paintings after, um, after I turn the camera off. I think you will really feel free and enjoy that. That's just a little bonus from me. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like my videos. And as always, happy crafting.